it was announced on Monday. Actor Dieter Brummer, best known for playing Shane Parrish on Home and Away in the 1990s, had tragically died at age 45. The two-time Logie winner made a huge impact on the soap between 1992 to 1996, starring alongside an abundance of talented actors as the nation watched his character's love story with Angel Brooks, Melissa George, Blossom. While some of his co-stars have remained on the show for decades, others left to pursue fame in Hollywood while a few, Dieter included, turned their back on acting forever. Here, Daily Mail Australia looks at where Dieter's Summer Bay co-stars are now, as the nation continues to mourn the passing of the iconic soap star, Melissa George Melissa, who starred on Home and Away between 1993 and 1996, soared to fame on the soap as Shane's wife Angel, and to this day the duo remain one Summer Bay's most beloved couples. However, it was certainly a different story off-screen, with Dieter admitting on the soap's reunion special, there was a lot of pressure on us. We had to look like the perfect darling couple in public. Melissa also made no secret of the fact she resented her involvement on the soap. In 2012, she famously denounced her legacy as a home and away alumnus in an interview that has haunted her ever since. I don't need credibility from my country anymore. I just need them all to be quiet, she snapped. If they have nothing intelligent to say, please don't speak to me anymore. I'd rather be having a croissant and an espresso in Paris or walking my French bulldog in New York City. Dieter hit back at his former co-star, dubbing her comments unnecessary and a bit ridiculous, adding, but then that's Mel. After leaving home and away, Melissa went on to find Hollywood success in films like the Amityville Horror and TV shows Grey's Anatomy and The Good Wife. Isla Fisher she's now known as the Hollywood megastar who is married to Borat legend Sasha Baron Cohen, but Isla Fisher first soared to fame starring on Home and Away from 1994 to 1997. Her character Shannon Reed famously developed a schoolgirl crush on Shane, and tried to split the couple up by attempting to kiss him, which he refused. Since leaving the show, Isla has gone on to star in a number of Hollywood blockbusters, including Wedding Crashers, Confessions of a Shopaholic and Nocturnal Animals. She now lives in Australia alongside her husband and their three children. Kate Ritchie her 20-year stint as home and away Sally Fletcher carried Kate Ritchie from 1988 to 2008, before a brief return after five years in 2013. Since her iconic role, Kate has gone to appear on Underbelly, which she starred in alongside Dieter, and forge a successful career in radio on Nova 96. 9. She has one daughter, May. 6, who she shares with her estranged husband, retired NRL player Stuart Webb. Emily Simons Emily is most well known for playing Marilyn Chambers Fisher from 1989. After almost a decade, she left the show and moved to the UK and appeared in the British soap Hammerdale before signing on to reality TV series Dancing on Ice in 2007. In 2010, Emily made her grand return to home and away and moved to Australia permanently, and has remained on the show ever since. Emily shares a son, Henry, with her ex-husband Paul Jackson who she split with in 2016. Paying tribute to her former co-star on Monday, Emily wrote, Dieter was such a lovely, kind, genuine person. I always enjoyed working with him. I will never forget his beautiful smile, he was a much-loved member of our home and away family. 
thinking of his loved ones at this difficult time. Matt Duran Matt joined the cast of Home and Away in 1991 as Damian Roberts, who was best friends with Brummer's character Shane. He left the role after four years in 1995, but did return in 1996 briefly to attend Shane's funeral after he died from septicemia, blood poisoning. Since leaving the soap, Matt has continued acting, including roles as Mouse in The Matrix and Elin Slees Bagano in the second of George Lucas' Star Wars prequels. Norman Coburn Shane made his mark on Summer Bay by breaking into the house of Donald Fisher, who was played by Norman from 1988 until 2003. Donald later became the guardian of teenage runaway Angel, prior to her blossoming romance with Shane. While his character made brief appearances on the soap between 2005 and 2008, he has since retired and lives a quiet life on Bruny Island in Tasmania, Australia. Tristan Banks Tristan appeared on Home and Away between 1992 and 1994 as Peter Tug O'Neill, who made an enemy of Shane by attempting to frame him for burglary. After leaving the soap in 2005, he spent four years in London presenting television shows on ITV, BBC and Channel 4, before returning to Australia to write and direct short films. He has also become a successful author, and was shortlisted for the Children's Book Award at the Queensland Literary Awards for his book Detention. Daniel Amal Daniel played the role as Jack Wilson from 1884 to 1996, and was even nominated for a Most Popular New Talent Logie Award in 1995. His character also tried to split up Shane and Angel's union, making an unsuccessful play for Angel when he first arrived in the Bay. Daniel left home and away to start a music career, with his single Classical Gas being a number 21 hit on the ARIA charts. He also worked as a music teacher specializing in classical, flamenco and rock guitar. Daniel went on to appear in Underbelly in 2007 as Melbourne underworld figure Dino Debra and made a guest appearance in season 2 of Mr. In Between. Alex Pops Alex Pops played Frank Morgan on Home and Away between 1988 and 2002. The actor went on to appear in Blue Heelers, The Saddle Club, and Stingers. In 2015 he made headlines for his role on the kids' show play school after he made a contraption during an arts and craft session that social media users said looked like a bong. The creative project saw him inset a straw into the side of a plastic bottle. Ray Marais is arguably one of the most well-known faces in home and away history, having played Alf Stewart for over 30 years since the first episode in 1988. His character crossed paths with Shane multiple times, most notably after he accidentally ran over his fiancée Angel leaving her temporarily paralyzed, thus pushing their wedding back. Ray certainly has no plans to retire from his role as Alf, telling Fitzy and Whippa in May 2021, My mind is wandering a bit at the moment, occasionally it wanders into retirement but then quickly turns around and thinks well what are you going to do there? Lynn McGranger Lynn is the longest serving female cast member of a television soap opera in Australia, having starred as Irene Roberts on Home and Away for over 27 years. While the soap certainly keeps her busy, she also starred on the 14th series of Dancing with the Stars and regularly appears in British pantomimes during the Christmas season. Upon hearing the news of Dieter's passing, Lynn shared a heartfelt tweet which read, So very sad. Please reach out. Ask if people are doing okay. And tell someone if you're not okay. Yell over the fence, call, message, 
Facebook, whatever it takes. I'm no expert but surely sharing your fears, anxieties, dark thoughts must help lessen their impact. God bless DB Fly High. Dieter Brummer Dieter starred on Home and Away from 1992 to 1996, and later had roles in hospital drama Medivac and crime series Underbelly, A Tale of Two Cities. His other credits included Winners and Losers, Neighbors, Underbelly, The Golden Mile and short-lived Soap Crash Palace. The two-time Logie winner was found dead at a home in Glen Haven, in Sydney's northwest, on Saturday afternoon, NSW police confirmed to Daily Mail Australia. His death is not being treated as suspicious and is suspected to be a suicide. According to a report by the Daily Telegraph in November, Brummer started up a window washing business after turning his back on acting. People say that I'm just a window cleaner, in reality it's substantially more involved than that. Working at Heights it's a relatively specialist trade, he told TV Tonight in April 2010. Brummer said he was able to employ his rock climbing skills in his new profession, and was appreciative of the life experience it had given him. I just wanted to get a bit of real life experience under my belt, but it always intended on coming back to the acting game at some point, he added.